Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric the Sturk, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I was talking about doing a total redo on my base, and... Ta-da! Totally redone and re-imaged. Eh, some of it's still the same, as I told you. I didn't want to change how it looked too bad. Or too much. It didn't look that bad in the first place. It was pretty good looking, in my opinion. But, I'll take you guys inside for the tour. And I have something special in store for you for one of the other places I made. As normal before, same thing, window schematics. You can see everything, including the ocean floor. And by the way, this is in the new game update, so the ocean down below is much different. And you even have a window look to my little base. It's smiling at me and saying hi. Let's see. I also did put a little observation deck even in. So you can see the aurora off from the distance. Yeah, stupid ladder. Turn you. You can look off into the deep blue ocean, hoping to see something one day. Another sub view. Hi. My sub's called Mr. Rainbow now. He's fine, sir. Mm, over here. Down we go. I think you guys would like to see this again because, one, I changed some of it. It is different. And two, it's in the upgraded game, so let me go down the ladder. Show you guys the new base down here. Sorry, going up and down ladders. Still needs to be worked on in this game. It's better than it was. Used to glitch out and go outside. Now, apparently the game says I have a leak somewhere. I have not figured out where the hell it is. And more ocean view. More windows. And... As you can see, I had to use a lot of reinforcements. This is what the outside exterior looks like. Instead of connection like the other one video I had, it's got a hatch now on top of it, so I can just do this if I get stuck. If it worked. Hey! It's like watching a fat man trying to jump up there. Alright, let's get to the nicer things. Life. Underwater. On the wrong side. On the wrong side. Get straight ahead. I had to reinforce all this because when apparently when you connect the whole base together, it considers your reinforcements for the base, not just for one piece, for the whole stinking base. So, I mean, that was a lot of extra work put in. I mean, this took me about four hours, I would say, if I remember, four or five. I was up for a few days doing this. Not sure of people's belief. You know, I was actually up. Even with cheats, it still took, you know, forever. If you legitimately did this, I think it would take you probably probably two or three days. And honestly, I did not want to spend two or three days doing this. Let's see, we have a little thingy over here. So you can look at the oceans. And there's a little plant life. There's a lot going on. And seaweed that will not leave me alone. I have actually tried to rebuild over that. I've rebuilt over it. I've destroyed it. It does not want to go away. We have more ocean view of purple mushroom thingies I killed. And by the way, we have this over here. My corridor to aquarium. Now, apparently if you try making an aquarium and you put a sea base in the middle of it, the fish become your aquarium. See? Hello, Fiji, my air sack. Yeah, you don't like walls too much. You like bouncing off of it. That's Mr. Air Sack. He's having a ball all the time. Let's see. What else do we got around the corner? Hello, Peepa. Hello, game leg. Little Peepas. Yeah, he's just rolling around. And... Ah, he's attacking me. Now, if we want to swim with the peepers and stuff, <laughs> makes it look like the inside base is actually the aquarium and the outside is the normal place. So you can swim with them all. Become friends with them. Ooh, apparently it's your weird sounds. It makes sounds. I didn't know that. Peepers and stuff make sound. Something new I learned. Ooh, air sack. In their natural environment, the ocean. Death by peepers. <laughs> and now we 
do have another place. I gotta get out of this base though. I gotta get out of it over here because you can't. You know, I, I made that a, like a hole inside of a cavern. That was all hand done, and you can't get out of it once you get in there. Unless you take the main area. So let's see. I made an underwater back cave. Now this thing's kind of cool. I had I carved out an actual whole island. I'll show you guys in a moment what I'm talking about on that one. Oh. There's a place I forgot to take out. There we go. Fixed it. Totally did that on purpose. <laughs> nah. Totally got me lying there. I did not. Alright. Alright, down we go. Now, as you can see, I cut off the bottom of the island to make it an actual floating island. Make it more look, you know, like I realistic. And I up top here, I reconstructed the whole area. But tried keeping some marine life so it looked more subnautica like. It didn't make it look, you know, like it was just a fully functional island that I made myself. I mean, the base of this is not even big enough to hold it. I mean. I wish it was connected better. But, yeah, here's the submarine from the outside. It looks cool now. You can, like, change the stripes and everything else. You can change how it looks. And there's another little base I made. It was you. Because you guys matter. You guys are what makes me want to do these videos. And, like, I have this base down here, like I showed you a little bit ago, and I have up here, I have caverns. To watch because that thing likes attacking me. I have a whole cave area in here which I can just go through. Except for that's a dead end. And it'll lead me out here to my other base. Now, my other game, I had this area right here. Ooh, I have a coral Emergency. optical horse. Air, breathe. <laughs> God, he's always so skeptical of fine air. Should have came out here with bigger things. But I had like a big giant one of these coral reef things, and I built the base into. I think it was over here. Is that the one? Uh, oh, there it is. That is what I originally built my base into. Now, this is a really cool area to build your base into because, as you see, there's a bunch of minerals. If you do want to build an underwater base in this game and have like a head start, I recommend building it down here. Because as you see, you'll have mushrooms, you'll have all the recommended stuff for building the game, and you can go through these caverns. Now be careful. There is stuff down here that'll scare you, on top of having them guys back there, which are the lurkers. Apparently that's a creeper. Or that's them screaming, one of the two. I don't know, but that scares me when I hear that thing. But this would be like a good starter base if you have anybody, you know, anybody's a new beginner. You can just start out right here. Put your base underneath there. And then you can like dig underneath and you can connect it underneath to that one. Usually it's a lot harder to do that, but you can make like cool little coral openings and stuff. But there is my base from a distance. And like you can see the giant thing. I mean, I rebuilt this because so many people liked how, you know, I was building it the first time. So I figured I'd do a rebuild in the new game. So that movie and I do future episodes for the update. You know, we can see the new stuff, and I'll have a giant base to do operations. I'll be able to put lockers inside of this. And be able to do workbenches and stuff, because inside here... I don't think I have a lot right now. I mean, I have the workbench. Which, as you can see, I need to get, you know, a diamond to do a diamond blade. I guess it's ultra sharp. And I need a battery to do heat at night. I wonder what that looks like. I don't have a battery on me, so... 
is craft a battery. And I mean craft a battery by using the cheat system. Alright, let's make this. I've never made one of these, so sorry about that. What does it look like? Ooh, that's cool. Shiny. Ooh, makes a little fiery sound. That sounds cool. to cut a fish or something like this and it'll heat it for you. And I want to cut up my people that I'm in my aquarium because I want to eat those. There's one. Let me see if I can get him. It's easier to catch than the other peepers. Let's see what happens. There we go. See? It's a cooked one now. See? You can cut, like, peepers and all your other food stuff and make it... Alright. Get my guy back inside so he doesn't get around in the ocean floor. Very good habit of doing that every once in a while. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end that there. And, uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe, and bye-bye!